first and new at six. Accused of trading sex for drugs and now 10 News has found a possible link between an El Cajon doctor and 15 dead patients. Dr. Nada Toda was busted yesterday and since then almost a dozen potential new victims have come forward. 10 News reporter Candace Crone got a hold of 63 pages of allegations. In the 63-page accusation, Dr. Toda is accused of prescribing highly addictive pain medication here at his clinic. And in one of the cases, one of the patients was found lying in the street unresponsive from an overdose. More patients have come forward saying Dr. Nakatoda overprescribed them drugs one day after DEA agents arrested him on suspicion of doing just that in exchange for sex. 10 News Dress uncovered Toda first got on the medical board's radar after this 2012 LA Times investigation revealed he had 15 patients die of drug overdoses over seven years. That prompted a medical board investigation. In this 63 page accusation, investigators claim Toda routinely increased dosages without any rationale or documentation. The report suggests the doctor continued to prescribe medication to a patient whose urine drug screen tested positive for methamphetamine. Even worse, one patient was found unresponsive in the street and hospitalized for opioid dependence on prescription meds. As recently as March, Dr. Toda was suspended for 30 days followed by seven years probation. I was very, very surprised. Today, a woman who told us she was one of Toda's patients was shocked to learn authorities arrested him just 24 hours ago. I know for me, you know, I, I couldn't ask for a better pain doctor, but you know, that's just me. Hi, is this Dr. Toda? Yeah, Naga Toda? I think so. Have a good day. That was the response I got today at an address that traces back to the doctor who can still practice as long as he doesn't prescribe those highly addictive drugs to patients without the approval of his medical practice partner. Today, I asked the medical board why he's still practicing even after 15 of his patients died. A spokesperson could not tell us why an interim suspension was not granted, but did say the medical board did not receive any notification from families of the 15 deceased mentioned in that LA Times article. Reporting in El Cajon, Candace Crone, 10 News.